Hello students, it is Miss Nemeth here to talk to you about musical expression. So, in music, just like when we're talking or reading stories or communicating with people, we want them to know how we're feeling or what we're thinking. But unfortunately, music doesn't use words all the time. So when we use no words, we have to come up with some way to express our feelings and our meaning without saying it outright. We're trying to be a little bit sneaky about it. So one of the biggest ways that we can express how we're feeling is major and minor. So major chords sound like this. They sound really happy. And we can express a lot of feelings with that. We could talk about happiness or joy or excitement or relief. That's a lot of things we can express with minor key, with major keys. With minor keys, it's things like and they sound a lot more sad. So we can express sadness, we can express um, dread, we can express that we're worried about something. These are all different things that we can express just by changing whether or not it's a major key or a minor key. We can also express this with the number of instruments that we have or with what we're doing underneath the instruments, like maybe with the percussion section. These are all different ways that we can express different feelings in music. Now then, if you add lyrics on top of that, so if we add the words, it's very clear to see what a lot of the messages in a lot of music is. So what I'd like you to do this week is I'd like you to think about what are some of the songs that I listen to and what is the message behind that and what does that say about the person who's singing the song or wrote the song. So something I want you to think about and we'll hopefully get a chance to talk about in class. So until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.